If you could get these three tips right, you will extend the battery life of your MacBook and save yourself a ton of money. And make sure you subscribe and like this video for more tips on your Mac. A battery cycle is when you exhaust all the power in your MacBook and then recharge it. So that goes from zero to 100, that's one cycle. But if you go down to 50, back to 100, back to 50, back to 100, since you only went halfway twice, that's only one battery cycle. So you owned your MacBook for a while. I'm gonna show you how to check how many cycles you went through. You're gonna hit command space, go to system report and all the way down, you're gonna hit system report. Then you're gonna go to the left and go to power right here. And then over in this section, you're gonna see how many cycle counts you went through, what your condition is for your battery, and now how much capacity your battery currently holds. MacBook batteries are typically rated to be good enough for 1000 battery cycle counts. And I'm at 248. I've owned this laptop for about two years now. So I have a question for you. How many cycle counts have you gone through and what is the battery condition of your laptop? laptop right now. Comment down below. We're very curious about that. So the next step is to check the health of your Mac battery. And I'm going to use an app called Clean My Mac X. So I'm going to go to the Clean My Mac X icon in the top right corner. And it's going to show me a quick preview of all the information about my computer. But I'm going to go to battery. Now here it shows me a bunch of useful information such as the percentage of the battery that I'm at right now, how much time I have left until it's empty, my charge cycles, and the health of my battery. So I'm at 81% right now, which is actually a really strong health score for a computer that's two years old. And it even shows me the temperature of my battery and it says that it's working within perfect range. And this is awesome to know because if it starts to overheat and I don't know that, this app can show me that and then I can start to find out if there's something going wrong with my computer. Clean My Mac X is such a useful app to help you with this matter or many others like optimizing the speed of your computer. Now, if you want to start a free trial, there's a link down in the description box below. I really recommend that app. Another way to check on your battery's health is to go to system settings, scroll down, go to battery and here it'll show you some key pieces of information such as your battery levels when you charged it and even your on-screen usage in the last 24 hours or the last 10 days if you start to notice that your battery is suddenly draining a lot quicker than usual you might have malware on your computer but don't worry we have a video for you click the link right here now that we know how to check on the health of our battery, let's work on actually extending the life of it. The first tip that I wanna share with you is to save energy with low power mode. So we're gonna go back to the battery section of our system settings. And on here, there's gonna be two sections, on battery and on power adapter. You could click on any of the drop-down menus, but I'm gonna to go to on battery click on it and go to low power. Now, what this means is that when my Mac is only running on battery power and not being plugged into the adapter, it's going to reduce its energy usage to preserve its battery life. The speed of certain apps might slow down, but that's all in the name of conserving power. The second thing that we could do is go back to clean my Mac X, go to optimization in the speed tab, and then we're going to view all nine items. And here we have a tab called heavy consumers. Now heavy consumers is a section that shows what apps are consuming so much power. And then you could click on that app and quit it so that you could save more power on your battery. And the third tip is a very simple one. And that is to reduce the screen brightness that you use. And we know that these MacBooks have beautiful displays, but maxing out brightness every single day is going to drain your battery very, very fast. And if you use all these tips, you're going to extend the life of your MacBook and save yourself a bunch of money from buying a new one. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below about what you thought about this video, and we will see you in the next one.